All right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka that variety nerd, and today we are back with our weekly NXT reaction video. This time around, we're going to be reacting to the November 4th edition. Get as a disclaimer, we will not, and I, re I repeat, we will not be covering the November 11th edition because it is a holiday here in the States, and, well, I'm not going to be filming on the holidays, at least not, like, reaction videos or anything like that. So that being said, uh, we've got a lot of ground to cover in this episode and that sort of thing, so grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, get comfy and cozy, and let's dive into the reaction, shall we? I think so. Okay, well, full disclaimer, uh, I apparently forgot to press the record button, but at least I caught it before this match was, like, over with or anything like that. That's quite nice. But we have this lovely recap of Flash Morgan Webster just running around slapping people for the last couple of months, including his opponent here tonight, uh, Rampage Brown, who actually caught him last episode. So that was, that was interesting, and now we've got Rampage Brown just throwing flash morgan webster around and being strong and stuff i feel like i summed it up pretty terribly but here we are now the dude's just like toying around with flash morgan webster oh oh wait 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 wait, wait. we got a counter we got a counter hang on here i mean quite literally just hang on oh no oh no right into the corner Ooh. okay that's certainly one way how to get out of that i'll give flash morgan webster brownie points just for hanging in there with rampage brown i'd be like all right i'm taking the count out i'm out of here <laughs> I've always been very impressed and entertained by Flash Morgan Webster and subculture in general, but that was super impressive right there. That deserves a clap. Just for that huge diving DDT to the outside right there. Just this fiery comeback in general, it all deserves an applause. I mean, he's got the right idea. He's being quick and just staying on top of the dude. I mean, Rampage Brown is just a super impressive dude in general. I was just super impressed with both of them in this match. So you know what? This was a fun opener. I enjoyed it, even though I didn't get like half this match film because, well, I was like, I don't want to be a disingenuine reactioner or anything like that or have disingenuine reactions, I should say. You know, rewinding and then going forward and that sort of thing. So there's that. But... Thought it was a great opening match, quite enjoyed it, lots of energy, and the crowd was really into it, so that made it even better. Oh my god, that was bright. But I love the new Trons and stuff that Isla Dawn has. I don't know how, I feel like they've been around for a little bit, but I'm just now noticing this, and noticing the lighting too, it looks like they've got like, you know, crescents and stuff, like moon crescents and stuff like that. So I, I like the little details at her entrance, I really do. It adds to everything, it adds to her character. All right, let's see what happens here in this matchup. They had this really cool, like very cinematic, like vignette for Isla Dawn last week on NXT UK that I quite enjoyed. I, I like it, I like a lot of, you know, just cinematography. Well, not like a lot of it, but like in the right places, I think it could be good in wrestling. Like if you're really trying to flesh out a character, I think it works that way. What? Okay, well, that was a dumb ending. Like, I get it, but I just... Why? Just... Just why? Why did we have to have this ending? Let's just hope that uh, the next match does not end that weird. Alright, we've got Ginny versus Mako Satamora. We are in for quite a treat, my friends. This should be quite good. I like both of them, and they're both very talented and fantastic. And I'm excited to see what happens. All right, here we go. We've got the start of this match. We have Joseph Connors and Amelia McKenzie both out at ringside. Should be quite interesting. Very, very close start so far. Very close start. Pretty even, I would say. Oh, Jenny's got the upper hand right away. She's going for the arms and fingers. Ouch. Okay. Ouch. Also, we have, like, multiple women's matches on one show, so I'm okay with that. Minus the funky ending that we just saw. Oh my god, this looks horribly painful. I don't even know how to describe this move, really. Okay, well, it looks like some sort of a scissors lock type of maneuver, but it looks extra painful. <laughs> Everything looks painful! Oh! Oh no. Oh no, that was not good. Yeah, the referees over here at NXT UK, they even have, like, the new, like, stateside NXT rainbow logo on their referee shirts little sus here because NXT UK's got their own logo. Oh no. Oh, what a takedown right there from Mako. Oh god. Every time that Mako goes for anything with the knees, I'm just like, oh no, this is not gonna end well. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Oh boy. Ooh, that was close. That was close. That was close. I w I've been sort of thinking this through a little bit more and I'm like, Ginny could have been like, 
champion maybe after Tony Storm or something back when, you know, way back when. And then maybe Kaylee Ray after, but I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking it through out loud now. But again, I just feel like Ginny should have been regardless champion at some point by this point. I think that's where I'm getting at. I think viciousness is an understatement. Oh God, now they're both on the vicious side right here. This this is not gonna end well for anyone. Oh man, and down goes Ginny. I think that's an understatement that the champion's continuing to fight. I really think that's an understatement. Oh my god, I thought that was gonna be a three count right there. That 100% looked like that was gonna be a three count. I thought Ginny had it right there, holy crap. Certainly been a good match so far. It's so even, that's the thing. It's still very even like this far into the matchup and that makes things a little bit more interesting around here. I was gonna say it's gonna have to take a lot for Mako to get to the ropes, but she's so, so close and she got to the ropes. Holy crap. Bravo. That was intense right there. Bravo. Oh, Mako caught her. Mako caught her. Mako caught her. Oh my god. Oh, and we've got another two count here, people. We've got another two count. Oh my god. I thought we were gonna have a title change right there, friends. I, I truly thought we were gonna have it right there. Oh my god. That, that could be it. That could very well be it. Oh, I thought I saw a three count. I thought I saw a three count right there. Hey, the crowd's really into this matchup and that adds an extra layer on to everything. Oh, yep, now, th 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 that, yeah, that's, that's gotta be it. Oh no, Mako's not gonna slow down right here. She knows it's gonna take a lot more to put away Ginny based on what we're seeing here. All right, Mako Satamora just won the match and retained the championship. I thought it was a good match. I thought everybody was just super strong in this matchup. Ginny was super just impressive in this matchup in general, you know, as a challenger. And like, she didn't, she looked great in defeat. I'm interested to see where the championship is going to go next and just to see where all the developments are going to go moving forward. But I thought it was a good main event. I quite enjoyed it. Certainly worth a watch. And there is that. All right. So final thoughts for this edition of NXT UK. I quite enjoyed it. Not as much as I did the last episode, but I still enjoyed it regardless. There, outside of the weird finish that we got in the second match with the Isla Dawn match or whatever, I quite enjoyed this episode. I thought it had a great opener and a strong closer. And yeah, we had a lot of moving pieces in the show, so I can't complain about that and I want to know where things are going to be going. So, that being said, thank you all so much for tuning in. Thanks for being patient. We will be moving very soon. In fact, the next episode of NXT UK that we react to will actually be the November 18th edition. And that'll be the last episode of anything that we record. <laughs> Essentially, filmed and edited and uploaded reaction video-wise before the move. So I want to give you a heads up as per usual. I hope everyone's staying safe and staying healthy. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button so you get notifications around here. We'll still watch, of course, you know, the November 11th edition of NXT UK. We just won't do a reaction video to it. But we'll probably end up talking about it at some point. Probably in the November 18th edition, you know, as things kind of pop up and that sort of thing. So again, thank you all so much for being patient. I hope, again, everyone's staying safe and staying healthy. And I will see you all around later. Bye, everyone.